Mind Wings Audio presents Homeless, written by Elsie Schmid Kanok, read by Beverly Bremers and Tim Simmons. An impatient driver beeped at the woman shuffling along in the supermarket parking lot. Anyone bothering to look at her would assume she was on a necessary errand. She was arguing with herself, punctuating the discussion with crisp chops of her hand and nods which fluttered her scarf. The automatic doors opened, blowing hot air as she entered, followed by bag boys pushing snakes of wheeled carts. Myrtle patted her cheap handbag and rummaged for her shopping list. It was all she had after those hoodlums stole her leather purse last week. You gotta carry a purse, Gladys had said. For the first time since she was evicted, Myrtle lost hope. The shelters were full and the soup kitchen was running low on food, although she still ate one meal there each night. All she had left now was in her bags and three dollars and keys sewn in her clothes. That's when Gladys decided, We have to pick up things. We'll buy a few things like baked beans and day-old bread and slip some in our pockets. You go to Safeway and I'll try Winn-Dixie. Tonight we eat. Now Myrtle was ready. She passed rows of juicy plums and grapes. Spoil too easily, she thought. Her stomach growled. She picked up a loaf of day-old bread, savoring its softness, easy to eat without coffee. It was so long since she had coffee. She walked past the aisle displaying peanut butter and jelly when she noticed a man with a dark watch cap, pea coat, and ragged jeans. His boots clumped down the aisle. He needed a haircut. He reminded her of her late husband, not his clothes, but his size and height, and lack of a pot belly. When he slipped something inside his jacket, she followed and watched him study a display of canned tuna. He put one can in his cart and another into his pocket. It barely made a bulge. This was what she hadn't been able to do. Well, if he can do it, so can I, she thought. She reached for a small can of tuna and held it until a pair of eyes burned her neck. May I help you? asked a clerk. No, thank you. Just reading the label, she said as she put the offending can back. Too much sodium. She pushed on, heart pounding, her head swimming. Whenever she picked anything up, she felt the clerk watching. She left the store with the bread and a package of cupcakes. She scolded herself as she went out into the damp air. Footsteps sounded behind her. She clutched her package and quickened her pace. The footsteps continued. Her heart pounding, she scurried toward her building. Those hoodlums, she thought. They'll kill me. Tears filled her eyes as she slipped inside, hid in a corner, held her breath, and prayed. The footsteps turned into the building.